Nick Cave, 65, revealed that he felt conflicted after being in the audience for King Charles Ives' coronation, which left him both bored and awestruck at times. The Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds singer was among 14 Australians invited to the historic ceremony. He joined fellow Aussie stars, including the last leg host Adam Hills, 52, and Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, 60. Other celebrities at the event included Katy Perry, Lionel Richie, Take That, and Andrea Bocelli. However, he has since shared how he felt about the experience. Holly and Phil's issues first sparked by special show request that left her livid speaking with journalist Krishna Guru Morty, 53, on Channel 4 News Ways to Change the World, he said, I went along to the coronation entirely out of curiosity and found the whole thing to be acutely interesting, to say the least, I would say. Because I thought I would feel things when I went to the coronation, he admitted. He added, but I didn't know that I would feel them in such an extreme way and they were conflicted feelings, and sometimes I felt extremely bored, other times completely awestruck by the event, extremely moved by the music. Nick also revealed that he was kind of amused by George Friedrich Handel's Zadok the Priest Anthem, which was played during the ceremony, and also felt angered by what was going on at the event. The singer also confirmed via his Red Hand Files newsletter that he was not a royalist or a monarchist. The self-published newsletter allows the musician to respond to questions from fans, in addition to his Instagram updates. However, he clarified that he couldn't refuse an invitation to what will more than likely be the most important historical event in the UK of our age. Speaking on his website, he added how emotional meeting the Queen had been for an aspirational Australians living in the UK event. It was a mostly awkward affair, but the Queen herself seemed almost extraterrestrial and was the most charismatic woman I have ever met. Sick, don't miss. Heidi Klum suffers wardrobe malfunction as she ditches underwear in risky dress, latest, Lorraine Kelly appears to respond to claim daytime TV is infested by savages, reaction, late singer Tina Turner hailed local hero by her neighbors in Switzerland, updates, the Victoria-born star revealed he was weeping when the coffin was lowered at her funeral. I hold an inexplicable emotional attachment to the royals, the strangeness of them, the deeply eccentric nature of the whole affair that so perfectly reflects the unique weirdness of Britain itself. I'm just drawn to that kind of thing, the bizarre, the uncanny, the stupefyingly spectacular, the awe-inspiring. In the full-length interview on Channel 4 News, the musician also shared that he had been working on a new record since the start of the year. His last album Ghostine from 2019 reached number 4 on the UK charts. Nick's hits include Into My Arms and One More Time with Feelin'. In 2017, he was named an Officer of the Order of Australia for his distinguished service to the performing arts. The award recognizes Australian citizens and others for their outstanding achievements and services.